everybody welcome back to life with me I am back for part two of my makeup collection declutter videos and this time I'm going over my individual the eyeshadows that falls in the other categories they're mostly individuals so let's go ahead and get started I don't have that much I'm going through um, what's on my makeup desk what's in my nine part Alex drawer and just some stuff I just got to the side so let's go over it first of all I have my color pop they're color pop super shock shadows they're the uh, kind that are a little spongy this is what ColourPop first came out doing when they were doing eyeshadows. I love these eyeshadows. They're very pigmented. They are long lasting. I just love them. As you can see, I stick to a pretty much neutral tone colors, but I think I might get me some brighter colors, maybe one or two just to play around with it. But I love these eyeshadows. You just have to make sure you know, you keep the top sewn tightly, but um, looking at them, they're all different variations of brown. Let me see if there's any I can get rid of. Well, you know, I do have two of one of them. I have tassel and tassel. Girly. I have two of one. I have two of these girlies. So I will get rid of one of Girly. It's still really good. It's a great like highlighting. It's a great highlighting color or inner corner highlight. So, but I will get rid of that one because I have two of them. And let me see, I got tassel. Let me look at tassel. Tassel is too silver. I don't really like that one. That's tassel, so I'm going. To, I am going to get rid of tassel. Look at me! I'm getting rid of stuff. Okay, this is going to keep that. Okay, yay! So I did get rid of two of my color pops. So yay! Put this back. Okay, moving on. A friend of mine gave me some these eyeshadows. They are powder. They are by Unique, but they're powder eyeshadows. I don't I think you gotta use some kind of mixing medium with them. So, uh, since so she gave these to me, she gave me, she gave me six of these. Six. I am gonna keep them because they were a gift. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with them. If if I can't do anything with them, I will be getting rid of them. But she did give it to me for a gift, so. I don't want to get rid of these without giving them a try first. So let's go ahead and put those over there. Okay, now from my six, my nine part Alex drawers, this is what I have in there and this is it. First of all, I have my backups. The key to keeping this much or way more than this because I don't feel like I have a lot. You have to be organized. So I keep all of my individual eyeshadows besides the ColourPop one in my top drawer. Now these are extras. For some reason, the, this is for Coastal Scents. This is the Oktoberfest. This is a wonderful transition color. There was one time I was trying to get it and get it and get it and it was sold out for so long that I bought so many extras. I'm never going to run out of this ever again in life. I also have a few from MAC. This is Soba and this is Orb. I got these to try as brow highlight colors, but I haven't used them yet, so they're not open. Okay, in my first container, I have a lot of these chubby pencils, and I am going to get rid of some of these because I do not use these. These are good for... Uh, you know, as base, or they're good for standalone as well. You know what? I'm going to keep these. Like, I have, like, some brown, some copper, some gold, some blacks, whites, a purple. I'm going to keep all these. I don't have that much, so I don't feel like this is in the way or anything. So, I'm keeping all these. So, these are my, just like chubby pencils. 
they're very pigmented, very pretty colors, and good for bases and stuff like that. So I am going to keep those. Okay. I also have this, this MAC pigment. This is the black brown. I have not used this yet. <laughs> it's the only one I got. But I am going to keep it because I got rid of the eyeshadow palette that had this color in it. So I'm going to see if one day I'm going to use that. So I'm going to keep it. It's just one. I don't see that being any problem. Uh, the next thing I got is this uh, eyeshadow from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. It's Eyes to Mesmerize. It's Eyes to Mesmerize. It is, as you can tell, it has not been used. It's a cream. It is pretty, though. It's a cream. I'm going to keep it. I'm gonna give myself another chance to use this. Okay, next thing I got is another cream, and this is uh, what's this by? This is Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour. This is a gold, and it is dry. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's go in the trash. Now looking at a few of the palettes I got, I have in here. I have this blue one from Wet and Wild. I got this to use for something and I never did so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because I don't even wear blue eyeshadows. Then I have this one from L'Oreal. It's like a mauve tone one and it's called Avenue de Roses and yes I am keeping this so y'all know me. Y'all know me and my mauves so I'm gonna keep that. That's pretty. I'm going to keep that. Then I have this one by Maybelline. I, I never even use this. I don't even know how long I had this. It's, uh, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to trash this. And I have this CoverGirl one. I love these colors in here. Got the golds and the browns. I'm going to keep that. I have another Mauve Tone one by Black Radiance. I'm going to keep that. Nice little brown one from Rimmel. I'm going to keep that. See, I don't have that much. Then I have this uh, L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallics. This is the, um, what is this? This is the, I forgot which one this was, but it's pretty. So I'm going to keep that one. I like the goldy, bronzy colors. So I'm going to keep that one. Then I have this one by NARS. It's Persia. It's a pretty, pretty, like, paprika color that I also use as a blush. But it is beautiful. It's a beautiful paprika color. I'm going to keep that. All right, so that's all that's in this one. All right, moving on. I also have some more in here. I have a couple of Milani ones. I have... Some browns, coppers, and oranges. These three here, which I am going to keep. They are beautiful, just, you know, throw them on your, on your lids. Then I have these two, like, one's brilliant bronze and one's gold gleam. I don't even know who makes these. Jordana Cosmetics. Let's see what they, I have not even used these. Let's see. But they're they're a cream too. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty, but ugh, it feels weird. That's that one. And this is the bronzy one. Uh -uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of these. These these feel like they are separating or something. They don't feel right. Let me smell it. It don't smell funny or anything, but I'm just going to trash these. Nobody wants that. Okay, that one's gone. Okay, I also have this pretty color. I got this one in my in one of my boxes. It's called Teeny Beauty, and the color is Fire Starter. It's a beautiful color you could just throw on your lid. My hands wet. 
very pretty. So I'm going to keep that. And I also have a few of these um, L'Oreal Infallibles. I have five of them. I have, uh, let's start here. This one is Continuous Cocoa. And they come with like a presser in here. You have to make sure it stays sealed. This is just like such a beautiful dark. I mean, look at that. That is dark. It's a brown, but it looks black. Very nice. Then I have this glistening garn. I dropped this once. So I just pressed it on in there. That's glistening garnet. Wow, look how pretty that one is. Glistening garnet. Then I have a smoldering plum. Very, these are so pretty. Beautiful. Next, I have ice latte. I don't know. I think I bought this for brow bone highlight or inner corner, inner duct highlight. It's very pretty. That's iced latte. My last one is called bottomless Java. Another brown. This is a lighter one. And that's it right there. Very pretty. These are beautiful, beautiful colors. Okay, the next thing I have is this Be a Bombshell Cosmetics. It's Bora Bora Eyeshadow. That's the name of it. But I got this in one of my boxes. But these colors are so pretty. Look at that. That I just, that's why I kept. They're so beautiful. Look at those colors. Wow, I'm missing one. Beautiful colors, beautiful. That's why I kept that one. And I have one from uh, City Colors, the eyeshadow trio. Once again, you know the type of colors I like, so I am going to keep that. So this is everything that's in my top drawer for my Alex drawer, my nine drawer Alex drawer. I also have two paint pots, matte paint pots. I have groundwork and laying low. These are cream eyeshadows that you can use on their own or as a base, you know, to make your eyeshadows stand out. That was laying low. That's that one. So these are two paint pots from MAC. All right, so my next eyeshadows are the ones I keep here on my desk right here. These are liquid eyeshadows that mostly go into matte. Some of them don't, but these are just the liquid ones. Some of it I have not used yet. I just bought, but um, that's what mostly this is. I love to use these liquid ones, especially on days where I just want to throw a color on my lid, going to work or whatever. So NYX has the lid liquid mattes, and I have uh, five of those. These are the colors right here. They're beautiful. They're simple. They go on the lid nicely. Um, it has a, you know, the doe foot, just like a liquid lipstick. You just put it on, and then that dries down to a matte. So I'm keeping all of these. Um, I do have some by e.l.f. as well. I have two of them are the same, so I will get rid of one. And this one is, it's supposed to be Marvelous Mauve, and it even says Marvelous Mauve on the bottom, but it is not Marvelous Mauve. I don't even know what color it is, but it's really, really dark. I got two because I was like, y'all sent me the wrong thing, and they sent me the wrong thing again. So I figured they don't use Marvelous Mauve anymore. So that's the color. It's a nice dark color, but I don't need two of them. So I'm going to get rid of one. And I also have this one in this blush and rose. And I'll just go ahead and show that since 
that's just a nice toned down color. Now also I have in here, I have not tried this yet, but this is uh, L'Oreal has some uh, infallible paints. This is a infallible paint and uh, it's a liquid eyeshadow. Let's see, have an old, it's dark on one side and they have different colors too, but I just, wow, that is super dark. <laughs> Look how dark that is. Wow, what am I gonna do with that? And light on the other side. So, wow. Uh, I don't know. Yes, yeah, eyeshadow. Like, man, this is... I'll see what I can do with that. I don't know, but I'll keep it. And I also got this one by Wet and Wild. It's the Liquid Cat Suit. And um, this is in the color Cashmere Love. But I think this one's glittery. No, it's not too glittery. It's like a, it's like a um, metallic. Not very glittery. All right. And I also have two more by e.l.f. They came out with some metallic ones. I have two of them. I have uh, the rose gold and the yellow gold. That's the yellow gold. It's very pretty. Uh, if you want an understated gold or if you want to use this as a uh, base. And that's the, that's the rose gold. So I'm keeping all of this. And lastly in here I have my uh, Kat Von D. You know she came out with the Lolita. This is an eyeshadow and a blush. But I just keep it in here. But that's that one right here. Probably works better as a blush, but if you want like a cranberry look, that'll work on, on your eyes as well. So that's all I have in here, and this goes in my little drawer right over here. Now, y'all don't need to see it, but it goes right over here. Now, last but not least, I'll, I have my single eyeshadows. Okay, here are my single eyeshadows that I have. Okay, first I have this little palette here with some, it's a combination of MAC, I think I have MAC and um, Anastasia in here, but these are brow bone highlights. So if I want to grab a quick brow bone highlight, I'll just go for one of these colors. So that's what these are, brow bone highlights. Then in this one, which is also a combination of others, if I want to grab a quick transition color, I'll go with this. Like this is, I have Octoberfest in here from Color Rain. Not Color Rain. I think this is from Coastal Scents, I mean. That's that's Octoberfest. That's Soft Brown from MAC. So, and this is Pharaoh from Loxy. That's a and th that's a online brand, Loxy Beauty. And this is Coco Bear from um, Makeup Geek. So these are just some quick transition colors. If I don't know what to use, I'll just grab this. Then I have this palette. And this is just, there was a time I went crazy just buying individual shadows. And I was like, well, I'm buying all these individual shadows and they all look alike. But yeah. <laughs> But this is um, the this this side are I got these four six plus the one that's in here I got these five from Loxy and this side is from Makeup Geek. These are all Makeup Geek shadows and these are Loxy shadows. So, but well, I'm gonna keep them because hmm, I don't know maybe one day I want to grab them. And in here, this is another Z palette. In here I have MAC. These are all MAC shadows over here. And I think these are, yeah, these are Anastasia Beverly Hills right here. So MAC shadows, Anastasia Beverly Hills on this side. So those are those shadows that I'm going to keep them on. And next in here, this bigger Z palette, I have three or four different. This side, this larger side over here, these are all Coastal Scents 
eyeshadows. Right here, I got two. Uh, what are these? Okay, I can't remember. Inglot. These are Inglot. This is Makeup Forever. Then over here, I have oh Colored Rain. These are all Colored Rain individual shadows over here. So these are all my little individual shadows that I keep. Um, these two I keep on my makeup desk. And these I just keep in a drawer. These larger ones I keep in the drawer and I gravitate toward them if, uh, if I need them. Okay, now this last set are single eyeshadows I think are that are NYX. So, um, I am going to keep some of these. I'm going to get rid of this green. I don't know what I was thinking about that color. I'm going to keep this nice little metallic looking one. I'm going to keep this little rosy brown. Whew, I don't know what to do. Okay, I know what I do. I'm getting rid of that green one. And I'm going to keep everything else. Because who knows? You never can have, you don't know what you're going to need, right? So I'm going to keep that. But I don't plan on, I'm going to just go stick this one in with here. But I personally do not plan on buying any more individual shadows, you know, unless, you know, some really great color pops up. But this is everything from my single individual eyeshadows. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next collection video.